Hey, what's up? This is Mega Rand. I'd like to introduce you to some of my friends. Next to me is Kay Murdoch. You might know that guy. Next <laughs> to him is Bruno Floss. Hello. And next to Bruno Floss is Storyville. Sadness. I uh, just want to give you a quick wrap up of day two, technically not day two, but show two of the Bits and Rhymes tour. Uh, we are in somewhere between Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas. They call it Fort Worth, but I think, I don't know. But um, we're at the American Airlines Training Center. Um, so we are at YuleCon. Last night's show was very, very interesting, and it also turned out very, very well. So I'm going to let Kay Murdoch, Bruno Floss, and Story will give you their impressions, and then I'll wrap up. Um, I'll start real quick. Uh, so this is my first official con. So it was a uh, for the for the layman. What is a con exactly? A con, I you know, uh, yeah. For the layman, it is short for convention. And, it can be anime, video game, uh, Star Wars, Star Trek convention. This particular one was more geared to more anime. Uh, but the, I've seen people, you know, dressed as Final Fantasy characters and stuff. Because honestly, a lot of that stuff I feel like it, it you know, cross pollinates. I guess that's a good term to say. But basically, they intersect. So it was a real cool experience. Um, yeah, man, I uh, got to see a lot of people who. You know, in games I've seen on my video game screens at home or TV screens, like people walking around dresses. I mean, it's crazy because I almost feel like I'm like the cat, like the foreigner, because everyone here is dri like the cosplay, which is costume. <laughs> right. We, we were kind of underdressed for the yeah, occasion. We were, I thought I was look cool. at these weirdos. Right. Yeah. We Jeans. don't look like weirdos. We, we were the weirdos. Right. That's that Bruno Floss who dressed up as Krillin. Krillin. It was my first time cosplaying, so I went as Krillin from uh, Dragon Ball Z. The thing is, yeah, you look, yeah, you look like. I mean, Krillin's pretty easy for me. Yeah. You know, I already got the baldness. That's the biggest thing. Uh -huh. Six dots on the head and a prisoner outfit with some. The prisoner outfit. I mean, I just cut it up and put on like a, a Walmart dark blue shirt underneath, and it was like. It was, funny, yeah. it was perfect. It worked out. Um, I gotta say, real quick, this was my first time seeing Brown Falls perform live, yeah. and it was completely amazing. I mean, the guy is hilarious. Uh, keeps the crowd involved. I mean. It's like stand-up comedy mixed with music, man. Yeah. It's like one but of not in a dumb stuff. way. But not in a <laughs> dumb way. <laughs> exactly. uh, I mean, he's just a natural wit, so it's just, so it was naturally entertaining. Uh, felt really fluid and natural, even though I'm sure there were like you know numerous sound uh, constraints and technical difficulties, but but I couldn't tell. I mean, everything went off without a hitch. I mean, his wit, he went back and forth with the crowd very you guys got to very well. Jump up. On That's stage. right. Yeah. We did a stop. I'll let. I'll let yeah. Oh, I, I pulled up. First off, first off, before I went on, Mega Ran and the Mega Ran show went on. All these guys. I, I listened to most of it because I was off stage, kind of getting ready and being nervous. But I ran up to the top a couple times to watch. But you could just feel the energy from backstage. Like, I don't know. It, it was it was really cool to go from hearing the song from the CD because I fell in love with Forever Famicom, but hearing it live, listening to the audience get interacting with it. And, Seeing how, like I was, you know, talking to Rand, no disrespect to any other cover artist, but I, I sometimes wish certain video game cover bands would interact more with the audience, right. because if they just go up and play, no talk, it's impersonal. Why am I not just listening to the CD? Right. But these guys, like, interact, they talk, it's a conversation, the audience is involved, and it feels live, you know, if you're listening, you can't pirate, you can't get anywhere else. And so I really respected that, had a lot of fun. And then when I brought them up during my set just to do some freestyling, it went like so much better than I could have hoped because like I didn't know it was gonna happen. It was an experiment. So I'm just like tinkling on the ivories or whatever while I got this beat for my keyboard going and it just came up and tear it tear it apart. I know it's proper grammar, but I'm not talking about it. They we know what you mean. they they turned it so they turned they turned it up. We turned it up, so it up. Alright, story building impression. Yeah, I wasn't even invited up actually. I was just like Oh hell, I'm going. <laughs> he made it work. <laughs> like it sounds so so. Um, this is the second, third, second. This is second, second show. show. No, fourth third. Day on the road, fourth day. I'm in time that I went to a, a convention oh, okay. thing. Oh, okay. Uh, but I mean, it's one of the one of the first times, so I'm still kind of getting used to it. And like, Rand's in this world. Um, me and Rand go way back. So I'm in Rand's world, and then it's like this Venn diagram of stuff random does, <laughs> anime and video games, stuff Storyville no <laughs> does, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's on the outside. It's an outlier or something. 
But I'm digging it because like I'm a very thorough underground hip hop dude. That's the scene I'm in, and it's a scene where everybody's trying to prove themselves all the time to other people. And here it's not like that. Like people are just very much like I'm gonna dress up in a costume and walk around and I'm gonna make weird noises because I can. And I'm like, yes, yes, you can. <laughs> Absolutely. People are so free here. I mean, it's it's almost night and day from an underground event because everybody's kind of. You know, shoulder to shoulder, not really wanting to interact. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm enjoying this, but I don't want to dance because then other people will know that I right. that I'm not being hard right people now. People don't right? take off like, their cool. No, they don't take off their cool. Absolutely, like, cool went out the window as soon as you step in the door here. Yeah. Right, it's, right. It's, it's, <laughs> it is gone. The moment you step on the premises, it, it's like demons in a Catholic church. Because <laughs> there's also a Catholic convention going True. on right yeah. next door. So yeah. shout out to Catholic. Confessicon is, <laughs> is happening right before us. I'd like to kick a big shout out to Jesus. <laughs> big ups. All right, so it is Sunday, which means that um, you know it's 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 the worship day for many. It's also the football day for many. And, similar. Um, yeah, similar, similar yeah. passions. Um, so. You know, they have the passion of the Christ, they have the passion of the rice, you know. Nice. <laughs> but, um, but no, seriously, I know Kay Murdoch and myself as big football fans are really, you know, looking forward to catching our teams. Um, but, um, so we're going to do that now and let you guys at the Word is Bond and whoever's checking us out on the YouTubes, uh, let you guys get back to your day as well. But uh, this is the day two check-in for the Beats, Spits, and Rhymes tour. I am Mega Ran. Kate Murdoch, Rental Floss, Storyville, and you're out of here. <laughs>